the JAMA Network. Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Pignoni. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of North Carolina School of Medicine and a member of the United States Preventive Services Task Force. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force is an independent body of experts in clinical preventive services who reviews the evidence and issues recommendations about clinical preventive services for the U.S. adult population. In this issue of JAMA, we present our updated uh, recommendations for screening for depression in adults. This recommendation is not a new recommendation. It reiterates previous guidance from the task force that it's important to screen adults for depression. In our updated guidelines, we found additional evidence to support screening of pregnant women and women in the peripartum period. We also reiterated the importance of having adequate systems in place to make sure that all patients who are screened for depression have appropriate treatment options available to them and appropriate follow-up. The task force recommends that providers and patients work together to find an appropriate treatment for that patient, either in primary care or through referral to a specialist. As part of our review, the Preventive Services Task Force found that there are effective treatments available for depression. These include pharmacotherapy or medication therapy, psychotherapy, or a combination of the two. Finally, the Preventive Services Task Force reiterates the importance of adequate follow-up so that patients who are identified as having depression and are treated have an opportunity to be reassessed to make sure that the treatment is effective, or if it's not effective, to change the treatment so that the patient can have their suffering relieved. One of the important unanswered questions about screening for depression is how frequently should someone be screened for depression if they've screened negatively in the past? The Preventive Services Task Force did not find enough evidence to inform that question fully. We recommend that patients in primary care be screened at least once and that any future screening for depression be decided on an individual basis between clinicians and providers. In the meantime, we need more research to help us better understand what the most appropriate frequency of screening for depression should be.